My name is Dr. P.C. Patel, Chief Soil Health Specialist and Professor, Mati Mati Agromar Private Limited, Anand Gujarat. Today, the topic is nutrient management in ginger. So, ginger, gingiver officinal crust is an herbaceous perennial, the rhizomes of which are used as spices. India is the leading producer of ginger in the world. Ginger is cultivated on area of 1,05,500 hectares with production of 5.17 lakh tons in India. States Karnataka, Orissa, Assam, Meghalaya, Arunachal Pradesh and Gujarat together contributes 65% to the country total production. India is the world leading ginger producer with 11.09 million tons yearly production. So here you can see the ginger cultivation. Looking to the table, you can see that the India produces the highest in the world, followed by China and Nepal. So ginger likely originated from tropical forest in region from the Indian subcontinent to Southern Asia, where cultivation remains among the world's largest producer, including India, China, and other countries. Statewide production and productivity of ginger in India. So you can see here that the maximum area of the ginger in Assam, 15.68 thousand hectares. And the production is also the highest, 122.31 thousand tons. But the productivity is low, 7.80 ton per hectare. Whereas <clears throat> the highest productivity was at Gujarat. Though the area is 4.39 thousand hectare, but the productivity is 16.09 ton per hectare. Why the productivity of the Assam is low? Because you know that it is a hilly area, heavy rainfall. So the nutrient has been washed out due to heavy rainfall. So it is a slopey land. Varieties of ginger, high-yielding varieties of ginger, that is Nadia, I, ISR Varda, Surbi, ISSR Mahima, Imgiri, Suprabha to northeastern states to increase the palm oil. Ginger variety Himgiri and Nadia were based in Mizoram, while IISR Mahima, Maran and Nadia are based in Meghalaya, whereas Guru Bandhan and Baise are the best ginger varieties in Arunachal Pradesh. Use, uses of ginger. The freshly harvested ginger is used for consumption as green ginger in whole northeastern state. The different products like ginger oil, ginger polyuresin can be prepared for export, which are very common in developed countries. Dried ginger, called sud, can also be prepared and it may be either sold as such or in form of off-white to very light brown powder. The dried ginger powder is generally used in manufacturing of ginger brandy, wine and beer in many Western countries. Ginger oil is primarily used as a flavoring agent in confectionery and for soft drinks. The ginger is also used for several medicinal purposes. Growing pattern of ginger in northern eastern regions. So, in that area, humid climate, and there will be well drained soil like sandy or clay loam, red loam, or lateral loam for its successful growth. In northeast region, ginger is grown as rain fed crop, while in other parts of the country, it is grown both as rain fell fed as well as irrigated crop. It is an exhaustive crop by nature and therefore not advised to grow in the same field year after year. In Northeast region, it is rotated with French bean or soybean 
which not only improve the physical condition of the soil but also give additional income to the farmers of the rotated crops. Emphasis on organic farming. The ginger production in northeastern region is organic by default because the farmers of that region are not using the chemical fertilizer nor chemical pesticide in ginger crops. They are only apply the locally available farmyard manure, cow dung, pig manure, poultry manure, rabbit manure, etc. in whole northeastern region. So in this way, the ignorance of the farmer about the technological advances is turning out to be a key to prosperity. So they are growing the organic ginger. So the productivity is low as compared to the indicated nutrient management. Emphasis on organic farming. So here you can see that the both farmers considering the increasing demand for organic produce all over the world, the farmer can definitely hope to get better returns for their produce. But they need to have marketable surplus which is available in the region. So market is required for the surplus crop of the ginger. The surplus then need to be properly collected, stored, packaged and transported to the distant market after due certification. So we know that in certification is required in organic farming. Therefore, there is a lot of scope to popularize the organic ginger produce for export in foreign country from the region and establish organic product based ginger industry in the region. So you can see the size of the ginger at the northern state. Then farmer are requested to adopt integrated nutrient management, apply manure fertilizer, use of bio fertilizer, improving soil health, and apply nutrient in soil on soil test basis and not as per your wish or cell merchant or fertilizer. It is experimentally proved that when we will apply plant nutrient in soil on soil test basis, then we will obtain definitely maximum crop production and keep soil sustainable for a longer time for our next generation. Then, you know that uh, I am working in Seva Magri Clinic and Agri Laboratory Bhavnagar. So, the farmer can put up online order to Amazon Flipkart to purchase soil testing kit. So it is a Sevama soil testing kit, you can see here. So the farmer have sent their soil samples to the Sevama Agri Clinic and Agri Laboratory Bhavnagar, Gujarat, in supply three paid annual. So the annual has been supplied by Amazon Film Card for soil analysis. The Sevama lab will carry out soil analysis immediately after receipt of this soil plant or water sample and send soil testing report along with the export advice of the recommended manure and fertilizer of a particular crop and send directly to the farmers through email or post. So what the farmer have do? The farmer have purchased the soil testing kit through Amazon or Flipkart. So they will send the soil testing kit. Then all the instruction has been given how to collect the soil samples. Then they put the soil sample in a supplied plastic bag and put up in annual of the soil sample and there is no need to affix the ticket. It is already affixed. Then we have to send the soil sample to the nearer your post office. So Seva lab will obtain the farmer samples and farmer will start immediately carry out the soil. The Seva lab will carry out the soil analysis immediately after receipt of the soil samples and prepare the report. So, but you know that the method has been given in Sevama soil testing kit, but I will again give that how to collect the soil sample. So for that, you have to take the soil sample with Kodali by making the V-shape 0 to 25 centimeter, 20 centimeter. Then you have to collect the sample for 15 to 20 places and make, uh, and make a on a, on a put on a cloth and mix it well or paper. Then you make with the hand four compartment and then quartering. So opposite portion you have to discard it 
again you have to mix again you have to opposite portion discarded so final sample require 250 to 500 gram is sufficient for soil analysis so that sample <coughs> farmer have to put in plastic bag and then you have to put in an envelope and send to the near post office so the same as soil testing lab will receive the sample and they will start immediately the soil analysis <coughs> So here, Seoma Agri Clinic and Agri Laboratory, Bhavnagar, Seoma. So soil analysis lab facility at farmer's doorstep. So here uh, we have purchased uh, one scientific instrument, ICP USC, which has the cost about rupees one crores. The name of the, the firm is also the Mati Mati Agromart Private Limited Seoma. So there are two firms. One, the laboratory is located in Sevam Agri Clinic Agri, Agri Laboratory, Bhavnagar, and Mati Mati Agro Mart Private Limited also located in Bhavnagar. So you can see here Sevam Mati Mati Soil Analysis and Soil Test Report. So we have carried out the PIKC, organic carbon, major nutrient, nitrogen, phosphor, potassium, secondary nutrient, sulfur, calcium, magnesium, and micronutrient, zinc, FEM, and copper, boron, molybdenum. Etc. So all the method along with the advice also we are recommended. You know that I receive the sample and sell the same advice to the farmers. The recommended practices of the ginger. So seed rate 1200 to 1800 kg per for sowing one hectare land, then seed treatment you have to give. Then manuring, then fertilizer is 75, 50, 0 kg NPK per hectare. So full dose of phosphorus and potassium fertilizer time of rhizome, planting and basil, micronutrient as per soil test. So whatever they, you will obtain in soil test, you have to apply in a soil before the planting of the ginger. And the nitrogen is applied first place 75 days after planting of the ginger, half nitrogen fertilizer and micronutrient foliar spray. Then second split 90 days after planting, half nitrogen fertilizer and micronutrient foliar spray. So nitrogen you have to apply in two spread. 75 days after planting and 90 days after planting. And phosphorus and potassium you have to apply at the time of the planting. Here I have given the example. The farmers have carried out soil analysis before planting of ginger. Suppose the farmers have carried out the analysis at, at Sevama soil testing lab at Bhavnagar. So on the basis of this uh, uh, soil testing report, recommended practice of ginger when soil have low organic carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and zinc, iron, boron, and medium, Mn, then what is the recommendation so that part part i will i will advise to the farmers on the basis of the soil testing report so here you can see that suppose organic carbon is low then we have to apply more farmyard manure 31 the recommended dose is 25 but our soil has low organic carbon less than 0.5 percent so it is low, so we should have to apply more 25%. Similarly, nitrogen, here the recommended dose is 75, 50, 50, but as per the soil test value, the recommended dose is 94, 25% more nitrogen than this 75%. Then phosphorus is also low, so 62.5, potassium is low, so 62.5 kg and pk per hectare. So accordingly, we have to apply the fertilizer in soil then we are getting the higher crop production. So we have looped the soil. What, why the soil analysis is required? So we can know the initial status of the soil. And accordingly, we are applying the fertilizer in soil and we are getting higher crop production. So here you can see that when a first plate, then half nitrogen fertilizer, we have to apply 75 days after planting, mean 94 kg nitrogen. So we have to apply 47 kg nitrogen, correct? 94 half, 47. And 
remaining 47 kg nitrogen per hectare should be applied at 90 days after planting. Then when the zinc is low, then you have to apply zinc sulfate, 25 kg per hectare. Iron is low, so you have to apply 50 kg zinc sulfate, 50 kg ferrous sulfate per hectare. Boron is low, so you have to apply 5 kg boron per hectare. Then medium manganese, then you have to apply 12 kg per hectare. But when your soil is low in manganese, then you have to apply 40 kg per hectare. But when your soil is high in manganese, then there is no need, but you have to foliar spray if you will find the deficiency in the standing crop. So soil analysis is very, very important. And accordingly, you are planning the fertilizer sun in soil and manuring in soil. If you have not carried out the soil analysis and suppose your soil has a deficiency of the micronutrient or phosphorus or potassium, then you are not applied and you are lose the yield. You are getting 20, 30 percent lower yield. Therefore, I will suggest to all the farmers before sowing or planting of the crop, you should have to take representative soil sample and accordingly you have to apply the nutrient in soil. Then indicated nutrient management is very important. So in indicated nutrient management, not apply only organic, but we have to apply organic, inorganic chemical fertilizer, bio fertilizer, etc. So if field experiment results of Department of Economy, Mahatma Puli Kusivis Vidyanya Rahuri, Abhadnagar, Maharashtra, reveal that recommend dose of fertilizer 75, 50, 50 kg, NPK per hectare plus 25 ton farmyard manure per hectare could be the highest green rhizome yield 22.37 ton per hectare, followed by the application of 50 percent nitrogen through recommend dose of fertilizer plus 50 percent nitrogen through poultry manure. It is therefore suggested that the application of recommended dose of fertilizer plus 25 ton farmyard manure per hectare to ginger planted on flat bed in clay loam soil is based combination. Second experiment conducted on indicated nutrient for maintenance soil and plant health. Ginger for indicated nutrient management in ginger, the fertilizer dose of the army, we are manure at the rate of 30 ton per hectare plus NPK 80, 50, 50 kg per hectare under Bihar conditions was recommended. Application of neem cake two ton per hectare together with inorganic fertilizer, increase the ability of nutrient in soil, increase yield, and reduce incidence of rhizome root rot. So therefore, we have to apply the neem cake at the rate of two ton hectare in this soil. Then the third one, the field experiment entitled response of organic manure fertilizer to yield and nutrient uptake of ginger was conducted at Agronomy Farm College of Agriculture Pune during summer 2006. The data indicated that recommended dose of fertilizer plus 25 ton farmyard manure plus hect plus a per hectare forever will be influenced yield and uptake of nutrient by ginger, followed by the application of 50% nitrogen to recommend dose plus 50% nitrogen through poultry manure. It is therefore suggested that application of recommended dose of fertilizer plus 25 ton from your manure per hectare to ginger planted on flat bed in clay loam soil is a based combination. So if you like my YouTube, please subscribe. Thank you very much.